what's going on, y'all? Cutty from Cutty TV. You've probably seen me all over Cutty TV. Uh, yeah, I am all over it. Uh, I'm Entertainment Mogul Cutty from Cutty TV. I run an award nominated company and I run the number one blog in New Jersey. And this web series is How to Become the Perfect Artist. I give you my tips and tricks on how to become the perfect artist. I've been in the music industry for five years, so I feel like I'm taking my experiences and giving it to the people to help you become the perfect artist. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, this web series is for any indie artist looking to become the perfect artist and just don't know where to start. I hope that this helps you. I hope this elevates you. And I hope you stay tuned for every episode. Welcome to episode one. Um, this episode we're going to be focused purely on recording. I want you guys to know that recording is the number one thing needed to be an artist. You will never be an artist if you do not record. So make sure that your recording is A1. Um, we're just going to start here because this I feel like is the perfect way to start. You're not going to be the perfect artist if you don't master your recording. So I figured we start here and then we get on to all of the good stuff about getting on all of the blogs, how to get the blue check and everything else. Um, so starting fresh, starting raw, let's go. Starting with recording. You want to definitely take your recording 100% serious. Um, people are going to be listening to your music. You have to understand that this is their first impression of you. If your music is bad or if it has bad production or if your engineer is not good, they're gonna think you're not good. Remember, the engineer makes the music, so you make the music. But I mean, the engineer adds the final touches. I don't want nobody to be up in the comments. The engineer don't make the music, I make the music. Well, if you didn't go to the engineer's house to record the music, you wouldn't have the music. Um, you wanna make sure you're working with good quality engineers. Um, the engineer is very pivotal for your success. Uh, if you have a good engineer, then you're gonna make good music. If you have a bad engineer, you're gonna make bad music. That's the first thing that people hear, is your music. And the engineer has the power of that. So make sure who you pick to engineer your music is going to give you the best sound. Um, just to give you an example, I know people in the indie world, they love to work with their close friends. Um, I love to work with my close friends. Whenever I get a chance and opportunity to, I make sure to pull them up on board. But when I'm doing business, I make sure to do business with expertise and people who are in that field and have been doing it for a very long time. And you should do that with your music, especially starting out. Um, if you start out with great music, you can only go up. You can literally skip four to five years of the artist process by mastering this on day one. If you can master putting out great music, then you don't even have to worry about the rest of the stuff because it's going to come because you're starting the right way. Definitely make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the episodes because I'm going to have a lot more details to tell y'all. But if you master this episode, then you're on your way to becoming the perfect artist. Make sure that you're paying close attention on how your music sounds. Have a checklist for yourself when you're inside of the studio on what you're looking for from your next song. Does it hit your ears well? Does the beat run well? Is how does it sound when it's coming out of the speakers? How does it make me feel? The number one thing you should ask yourself when you're recording a song and you're working with an engineer after it's all done, if I give this to a record label, what are they gonna say? Are they gonna sign me on the spot? Or am I gonna have to come in for another meeting? That's what's gonna be the make or break for you. That's what I tell all of my artists that I've managed. That's what I tell all of the artists who ask advice from me. I tell them, would you give this song to a record label? and what they sign you. That's the number one thing you need to realize when you're recording. After you're done, you need to ask yourself that question a hundred times. And if it comes out to be yes, then you're on the right path. If it comes out to be no, then you know that the engineer that, you need, that you're working with, you need to replace. Do not be scared to replace people inside of this business because you have to worry about your own career. You have to elevate. You know, we all want to come up with our friends and we hope and we wish that everybody was as serious as us. But in the green scheme of it, everybody isn't as serious as you. So if you let them control your career, that's where your career is gonna go. So make sure you take control of that and make sure you start with step one by releasing a good recording because that's all that matters. I'm telling you that now. Now, my gift with this is to give you the steps and I'm gonna give you the advice. So what do you go for when you're looking for the perfect engineer? 
Um, you're looking for a sound, you're looking for samples, you're looking for, are they gonna build up your sound? Are they gonna help you elevate? Are they helping you find your sound? That's the main important thing you wanna ask when you're working with an engineer is, what are you doing for my career? How are you helping me? I know I'm helping you because I'm paying you to be here. You're paying for studio time. So make sure whatever studio time you're paying for, they're giving you quality music. And when you're in the studio and you hear something and it doesn't sound right, make sure you're, you're, you're communicating with the engineer. Do not let them just mix and master that song and put it out. Uh, the best way for you to find some good ones is you can just start posting up on your social media. Hey, I'm looking for a studio to record at. Hey, I'm looking for an engineer. Um, tap in with a couple of your other artist friends. Start looking at, start seeing what these other people are recording at. Start going to those areas. You never know, you might connect them with somebody who can really help compel your sound. And that's gonna be the deal breaker. So you can do that. Um, you can go on Facebook groups. There's plenty of Facebook groups on Facebook that are local and you're able to find studios, you're able to find engineers, and you're able to find other musical minds that will be able to give you advice on yeah, where to go and where to record it. Um, coming very, very soon, we're going to be creating our own band. And we're going to be distinguishing all of that for you, but I can't tell you about that right now. Um, but definitely, you want to make sure you're at high quality studios if you're going to be spending the studio money time. And you want to make sure that the engineer you're working with is going to propel and excel your sound. Because they're the real true, true takers of your music. So they're the last one to hear it, they're the first one to hear it. So you want to make sure you're working with somebody who's trusting in your vision, knows what's best for you and wants the best for you. Because if you're not working with somebody who wants the best for you, then your sound is never going to be good. No matter how much you've seen inside of your mind, if you're not working with somebody who can bring it out, you're never going to get there. So I'm trying to save you four to five years of wasting your time. Start early. Don't start recording music until you find an engineer that you want to record with. Because once you find them, you can make endless amounts of music. Endless hours. You can be in a, you can be in a studio for 16 hours a day, okay? And make a whole album, all right? But if you're working with the perfect engineer, that album can take you from the suburbs to Hollywood real quick. So make sure you're working with the perfect engineer. And don't, don't be afraid to shop around. Don't be afraid to ask other people, hey, who do you work with? Hey, I like your music. I like the sound of your music. Who is your engineer? Nine times out of 10, they're gonna share the information with you. So make sure you ask, use your resources. Um, just don't think that you have to just jump into any studio, get on any microphone and record anything. Cause it's not gonna work out for you. And on the, tr on the journey of becoming the perfect artist, that's gonna halt your artistry. And it's gonna make you stay back longer and you're gonna be in the trenches for a lot longer. So let's help you get out of there faster. Let's work with the perfect engineer who's gonna yeah, bring your sound, compel your sound, and make you sound like Drake. Everybody, Drake. Um, and those are the people that you wanna emulate. You wanna to listen to their music. You wanna hear their sound. You wanna hear how smoothly it hits your ears. You wanna hear how they're coming off a certain beat. You can learn so much by listening to music. So listen to a bunch of music, find the perfect engineer, and record your first song. And that's it, you've done step one of becoming the perfect artist. And I hope that this video helped clear up some type of clarity that you need on who to work with, on what to do, on what the steps are. This is the first thing, finding a good quality studio and recording your first song. Because from your first song, you're gonna make your hundredth song. But make sure you're doing it with the right people, because that experience is just going to be good. So make sure you're doing a good step one. What's step one? Find a good engineer. Come on, you're always supposed to be head on with this. Find a good engineer. Start there. I don't want you to do anything else. We're going to take this series step by step. I'm going to be putting you where you need to be at. But right now, my main focus, I want you to find a good engineer. I want you to record a good song. And then I want you to be happy with it. And then from there, I want you to progress and grow. So until you start that, you can't start episode two. All right? So go out, go find you a good engineer, and go record a good song. And from there, follow on with the rest of the web series, and you're on your way to becoming the perfect artist. Thank you for watching episode one. Share this to a friend. Share this to somebody who wants to start inside of the music industry. And let them know about this web series. It's meant to help everybody who wants to become an indie artist and become a major artist. These are the steps that you have to do.
and I hope that I can help you get there. So if this helped you, make sure you drop a like because Yo, YouTube the algorithm allows us to have a bunch of likes on our videos. And of course, share this with a friend because we're just looking at a whole video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for episode two.